Hey my lovelies, I hope you're all safe and well. It's Mitch here and I'm just coming on to do your July's tarot scope for the month of July and what's to come in store. So I always say it but can't believe we're in July already. This year is just whoosh whoosh whoosh. It's going really really fast. So as ever I'm going to work with two decks. I'm going to work with tarot of the old path and we're going to look at our um, opportunities, our obstacles and any lessons for the month of July. Then I'm going to follow that through with an overall kind of conclusion card from my Wizard Within Oracle deck and hopefully this will resonate and it will make a little bit of sense for you guys. So these are the cards, let's give them a knock and let's see where the energies are taking us for July. Just asking what our opportunities are and our obstacles and our lessons. Seeing where the energies take us, see what we need to know about. And um, yeah, it will just help in terms of the structure of this uh, month. I just want to say as well, big thank you to everybody that sort of purchased um, the Summer Solstice guidance reads from um, the shop page. Thank you so much for getting behind that. I know a lot of people got involved and they said that that particular tarot spread was actually really, really helpful. So thank you very much. And I will possibly put some new sort of tarot spreads together very, very soon. Okay. Ooh, okay, those two have just come out pretty much together. Interesting, interesting. So let's have a little look at this then, see where the energies are taking us. Okay, so as we're going into the first card, we're going into the energy of the Knight of Pentacles. So this is coming in as our opportunity. So when the Knights show in tarot, they always want to come in to protect, to honour and to defend. So at the moment, you know, finances materialism, your ideas, your plans of what you would like from life, all of that stuff is being sort of held and it's being kind of um, cared for. And if you think of like a knight's position, they're ready to honour, they're ready to fight something right up until the end point, you know, they're ready to sort of sacrifice their life on the line for something. So this is a really, really important time to go after your hopes, your dreams, your goals, your wishes, the things that you really want to be doing. And because it's pentacle based, it's sometimes looking at things in a big way. So sometimes this can represent job or career opportunity. Sometimes it can be house and home, the place that you live. So maybe there's been some thoughts and sort of um, some rediscovery around that. For some people, it might just be money in general and how to make it serve and work best for you. Um, occasionally it comes in as well if people have been battling financially. So if you've had quite a lot of uh, maybe debts or things you've had to pay out and it's just maybe making sure that things are continuing to sort of work in a way where you can get all of that paid off but you can still have life to do your thing to live a little bit you know um, but this knight is wanting to really sort of protect all of that sort of financial investment so yeah knight of pentacles your abundance both materialistically but the in-heart abundance that's really being kind of cared for and held at the moment so that is quite interesting actually so this month you may see some positive um, shifts around this you may see some steps forward so if you've been wanting to sort of make those changes or move forward financially with stuff and if it's been hindered if it's been blocked you may start to see that some of that becomes a lot more accessible for you in whatever way shape it needs to so that's quite interesting now then are um, obstacles, things you've got to be careful of. Don't sort of put blocks in your pathway that don't really exist because we're going into the Three of Rods. Now, Three of Rods in this deck is the same as the Three of Wands in conventional sort of tarot. And usually the Three of Wands is like looking out to see, it's looking out um, around you and sort of seeing the next goal, the next dream, the next adventure. But it's almost like the way that this is being pictated, it's like they're trying to almost put this together it's like a bit of a balancing act it's a bit of a juggling act and I suppose that I feel as I hold this card keep your world simple so if you can see straight out to land and see if you can see straight in front of you and you're on a clear path or you're on a clear road 
Don't sort of put obstacles in your pathway. Don't buy into things. Don't hold on to stuff if it doesn't really work, if it doesn't really serve you, if it's not necessarily really there. Because sometimes we block ourselves, sometimes we hinder ourselves with stuff that's kind of energetically a bit junk and we don't necessarily need to really be carrying it, but sometimes we choose to give it energy, to give it sort of um, power and it sort of blocks us from what we were actually doing because I sort of feel like really here he was on sort of a path, he was on a road, but he's been sort of waylaid trying to sort of help now sort of construct this sort of piece from the older gentleman and it's almost like spirit is saying don't get consumed in that he was on a clear track he just had to stay true to himself don't get pulled down any side roads don't get tempted by things that look interesting on the surface and then potentially kind of cause hardship or weigh you down a little bit don't get bogged down by stuff that isn't yours does that make sense big old tree so symbolically keeping you grounded keeping you centered if it's not yours don't take it on that's the message I feel that's coming in there a little bit. And the lessons. Keep seeing your kind of cup of life full of magic, really, because we've got the four of cauldrons. So four of cauldrons, when this shows, is the same as like the four of cups. So four of cups is sometimes feeling a little bit unsure about things. It's sometimes feeling a bit wary to move forward. And I suppose, again, it's mindset. It's how we choose to see or perceive situations so don't get bogged down with all of this stuff here and sort of take things into an emotional space where you feel a little bit stuck or you maybe feel like you need to sort of stop and pause um continue to see all the great stuff that can kind of come in here and just be ready to sort of see that i suppose you know with this person falling asleep don't sort of fall asleep on the job as it kind of were stay true to the long-term values but when we're looking at it in terms of lessons I just sort of feel like Spirit is saying with this card, it's really, really important time to go after, to kind of invest in yourself. There's, you know, there's this real feeling at the moment of people being scared to invest and almost like wanting to just fall asleep on the job a little bit. And don't do that because then, you know, people are then wondering why stuff isn't happening, why stuff isn't moving forward. Um, there's a real feeling at the moment of like people needing to give themselves permission and it's like a lot of people are just not wanting to do that for whatever reason so they might have the hope they might have the idea they might have the goal but they don't actually feel that it can manifest they don't really feel like it can become reality um and so everything at times is feeling a little bit half-hearted and believe in yourself whatever it is you're wanting to create or achieve in this world you can have that and also i sort of feel with this card stop and sort of see the beauty of what's already been created before you welcome in the next sort of stage of abundance. So let's just look at the Wizard Within Oracle and see if there's an overall conclusion or theme for July that may help to make things even more clearer for you guys. Oops, so just channeling these for the highest of good. I'm asking what we need to know with our July. Okay, interesting, 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 interesting. So we're going into the Wizard's Castle. Now the Wizard's Castle here is all about kind of having security, safety, foundations. It's having somewhere that you can call home. It's somewhere that can work and serve for yourself. I absolutely love the artwork in this deck. Um, really, really, there's so much, like I'm trying to pull it in close, but then it gets blurry, but there's so much detail within this card. But basically the Wizard's Castle You've got your roots, you've got your foundations and you can aim for something new. So again, it's like be blessed, be happy with what you call home, with where you find yourself in the world now. But be open to something even more fabulous, because even though he's sort of like looking at the wizard's castle here, he's actually within a cave. And this big castle is just there in the distance, yeah, acting as a little bit of like a, like a torch or a lighthouse almost. Um, and yeah, I just see this as like security foundations. So again, if that's something that you're wanting to create back here, maybe some of those financial sort of changes can give you that security. They can work together. They can work hand in hand a little bit. But again, don't get pulled into blockages or setbacks um, because it could be that the track or the path becomes a bit slower to maybe get to, to sort of get back home or to find home. 
so that's quite interesting but yeah the wizard's castle is security it's somewhere that you can feel safe and secure and i don't think just in terms of money and energy and everything else i think in general there's a sense of being secure in yourself in your roots in what you're doing and who you are as a person as well does that make sense i really hope so because that's the message that i feel is coming in quite strong so i'm going to leave this july uh, this july reading with you i hope it resonates keep shining bright thank you for all the love and the support in my work that does mean a lot um, and just have a beautiful month ahead and I will look forward to seeing some of you lovelies either on Zoom or on the various workshops and sort of, you know, one-to-one uh, -one reads or on the tour. Look after yourself. Bye for now.